So in this video, we'll learn how to find the inverse of a matrix by the cofactor method. And um, I'll illustrate it by using the smaller matrix, like the 2x2 two two case. And for example, in general, for a 2x2 two two matrix, it actually looks like um, this. And uh, the inverse formula is going to be the scalar multiplication, where the scalar is 1 over determinant m, multiplied to a matrix. And the matrix here um, is like this. You have to look at the checkerboard. If you recall what we have learned in the topic about finding the determinant by the cofactor expansion, we always have to look at the checkerboard like this, where the sign starts with the top left corner with a positive sign, and the neighbors of it all have the opposite sign to it. Anyway, the checkerboard for the 2x2 two two is quite clear. Uh, that's the sign table. And then you have to put in the minor, uh, but you have to be very careful. For example, this first spot uh, is the position 1-1, one, one, right? is a position 1, 1. And um, in that case, it's actually quite easy. We just have to find the minor um, for the matrix M. And um, But the remaining uh, position, you have to be extremely careful. So uh, let me put the hints here. So you see the hint is that um, after using the checkerboard, you have to put in the minor. Uh, for example, like this case, you have to be extremely careful. Um, this position, I throw J column. In general, we always present it by um, the matrix entry like this, right? If we want to talk about the matrix and the particular position. However, I'm asking you to actually put in the minor uh, with a swap of ij. What does it mean? This position is what? This position is actually the first row and second column, right? Second column. So um, it means that now it's like i is 1, j is 2 for this position. So uh, you actually need the minor uh, m subscript to 1. And similarly here, this position is the position where the row is 2, the column is 1, right? So you have to swap uh, i and j to j i, which means you have to look at the minor 2, 1. And the last position is clear because it's row 1 and column. is actually row 2 and column 2, right? And if you swap j i and i j because they are the same, it doesn't change anything. So uh, now, Let's do this calculation. Please record the meaning of minor. So for example, uh, the first minor is uh, you have to delete the first row and the first column. You look at this value, which is D, right? And similarly, let me write down all the minor first. For example, like M12 uh, is going to be the position where you need to delete the row 1 and column 2, right? So you're left with this number, which is um, C. And similarly, I write down the remaining two minor here for you to know. And we can put in all these values to our formula here. So it means that for the 2 by 2 matrix in general, if you recall the determinant formula, it's going to be AD minus BC. And um, let's look at the things inside the matrix. So, uh, M, so it's like um, D. D is going to be the minor here. And let's, uh, let's write down the entries one by one. So if you do it properly, you will notice that you're getting a formula like this, which is actually the formula we have seen when you, I first tell you how to find the inverse of the 2x2 two two matrix, right? And uh, let's look at a bigger matrix, like a 3x3 three three matrix. So now please look at the current matrix, and are you able to find the inverse of this M by our cofactor method? So let me write it down here. So based on our cofactor method, we need the checkerboard, uh, same as what we did for the previous case. And the fact is that you probably need to find the determinant first. So what is the determinant in this case? So you can find it yourself. The determinant is actually minus 3. Uh, you have to find it yourself. But uh, the more important thing is to look at the uh, formula inside the matrix. And uh, for example, the first spot is going to be the minor M11. And which means you have to cut out the first row and the first column, and you're left with uh, four entries. You have to find the determinant of this 2x2 um, two two matrix like this. And for example, this spot is what? This spot is uh, the i-th row, which is uh, the first row and the second column, right? So it like, it's like the i is 1, j is actually 2. So, we, it, so you have to look at the minor mji, which is m21. And m21 means what? m21 means you have to look at uh, the minor, like uh, by deleting the second row and the first column. So we are looking at the four numbers here. So it's going to be the determinant for the numbers 0 minus 2 and 2 minus 3, like this. And the last one, uh, the i is actually 
one and the j is three, right? It's like the first row and the third column. So you have to look at the minor three one. And three one means you have to delete the last row and the first column. So you're left with the four numbers here. So it's gonna be the determinant zero minus two, one minus one like this. And I put in the remainings. So if you do it correctly, that should be our formula here. So if you do the calculation correctly, um, this final matrix is going to be like this, and it is the inverse of our matrix here. So um, that's the way to find the inverse of a matrix. So let us add a minor note here at the end of this video. By the cofactor method, we're going to have uh, inverse of M by using such a formula, right? And uh, let's drop the calculation now. And please look at the meaning of the determinant uh, related to the inverse here. So please recall the fact that uh, we have mentioned it a long time ago. Uh, not all the matrices have the inverse, right? And so notice that when the determinant is non-zero, this formula is actually well defined. So it means in that case, the M inverse actually exists, which means that when determinant is non-zero, the fact is that M is actually invertible. And actually the opposite side of this statement is actually true, but uh, we'll leave it to later video for such theory.